So I've got two recipes to show you in the compact full steam oven. Um, as you can see here, there is two layers so I can cook on two shelves. I'm going to place my pineapple, it's a spiced pineapple dish and the risotto. As we know, risotto is a not easy thing to cook. You have to stand over on the hob, ladle in your stock, keep mixing it and stirring it and keep keeping an eye on it. With the full steam, it allows you to cook risotto really easily. It absorbs the liquid into the rice, becomes out nice and free flowing and nice and moist and you really don't have to worry about it until you need to add other ingredients for the last five minutes of cooking. So I've got mushrooms and cream fresh and some um, Parmesan cheese to add for the last five minutes, but I've already got my stock, my onions and my garlic and my rice in here. That's gonna cook alongside with the pineapple for the same time for about 20 minutes before I add my other ingredients. So the full steam appliance is very different to the Vario steam. The Vario steam is added steam while the oven is working together. Full steam allows you to just use it for steaming. So you need to put water in it like the Vario steam. And this oven will convert into a Vario steam. If you're not using it for full steam, you can add steam while the oven's running as well, which is fantastic. So the water tank just sits underneath the fascia and this comes out and just normal tap water just goes into the top of the tank there and um, right to the top and actually tells you when it's finished so when you're full steaming it will last for about half an hour which is generally you don't full steam much longer than that but if you were using your Vario steam where you add in steam to your oven cooking then it will last um, for about an hour and I'm just going to pop that in onto the lugs and then the fascia comes back down and I'm going to select the steam setting. So the full steam, I'm just going to select the full steam function, press little house, go into steam, which is these sort of like steam um, clouds um, as a symbol. And I'm going to select that as 100% and then get the appliance heated up. Once this red line is all the way across, then the 100% of steam is there. Now, it's very important when you put the timer on that the countdown only starts once it's reached 100%, which means that you can either put the food in early and add an extra five minutes to the cooking time for the preheat time, or you can wait until it's heated and then pop your food in and then just use your normal timer. But the steam is now creating into the appliance um, and then for 20 minutes, it's preset for 20 minutes, as you can see there. I'm just gonna leave it at that and then maybe add an extra five minutes on at the end. So my risotto and my pineapple are lovely and steamed. The timer's just gone off, so they are ready. As you can see, it does create a lot of steam and a lot of moisture in the full steam oven. It's not hot steam, so it doesn't burn you. It just gives you a little bit of a facial at the same time. Um, but it's amazing for cooking your food. It keeps it lovely and moist. Can you see there how lovely the rice is? It's absorbed all the liquid. I'm now going to add my mushrooms into the rice give that a good stir and at this point mushrooms don't take very long to cook so they won't take long in the steam let's give them a, a mix in and then i'm going to add some creme fraiche and that just gives it a really lovely creamy texture um, and then i'm just going to add some parmesan so and then some seasoning and then that has to just go back into the steam oven it's literally for five minutes for all those lovely ingredients to melt down into my risotto for the mushrooms just to cook through a little bit. And then we're ready to have a lovely, quick, easy risotto. Let's give that a good mix. Now my pineapple should be done. It's probably taken out from the lovely flavors of the syrup. So I'll pop that back in. Five minutes. And let's have a look at the pineapple. So put that down there. Five more minutes for the risotto. And then the pineapple as you can see there, with the lovely juices and the brown sugar have got nice and thick. Beautiful flavour, it smells lovely, it smells very Caribbean-y um, and lots of nice sweet rum in there and that makes a lovely dessert um, to go with your risotto in the full steam. So the risotto is now cooked, so a little bit of this steam coming out of the steam oven. I'd like to just show you how all those lovely ingredients have been absorbed in there. 
you've got a fair amount of water um, in the full steam but you get a nice little orange sponge um, which is one of those sponges that absorbs double its weight with the with the amount of water to soak that all up we've also got a drying button on here as well so with a full steam once you've mopped out the big puddles of water you can then put it onto a drying button in 10 minutes the appliance will be nice and dried out so just to show you this lovely risotto very simple without having to stand over it you've got beautifully cooked rice with all your ingredients added have some chopped parsley to this to give it a bit of color a little bit of garlic there at the top just to add a little bit of green and there you've got your beautiful steamed full steamed mushroom risotto mm -hmm.